G'day folks, well there's been quite a good dump of snow here on the ground and up on the mountains a pretty good coverage now and this is kind of the first good weather opportunity there has been for some time really to get out and try to make the most of it and I'm going because I'm kind of haven't got much time till sunset again I'm kind of going to a place that's not uh, too hard to get into anyway and uh, can get my gear set up driving in here the snow there was some really deep snow drifts and um, I almost got stuck a couple of times so it pays to uh, just take a common sense approach when it's like that luckily I've got chains and stuff but uh, I guess it's just all about knowing your limits really so I've got to set up a, uh, a holy grail all night sunset to sunrise time lapse again tonight and we're right in the middle of winter here now so it looks like at the moment that we're going to get some beautifully clear skies tonight although it's always hard to tell what's going to happen up here overnight but that's certainly the way it looks at the moment it's really calm clear skies not a cloud in the sky actually um, so that should make some really good astro stuff during the night I've got about an hour now till sunset maybe a bit less so I'm kind of in a rush to get the gear set up and just capture some of that golden light um, before the sun goes over the horizon all right just got to the location here this is going to be a bit of a rush setup because I haven't got much time until the sun goes down uh, so I'm just going to leave the camera here running while I, I run through the setup Right, that's all underway. A bit of a mission to set it up as always. I've got about 20 minutes of golden sunset light. Maybe even less. You can see the sun over here almost um, almost right down on the horizon now. So maybe there's 10, 15 minutes left. A little bit of a breeze up here. Um, but it's looking promising for a clear night and some really good astro conditions tonight. I've got the dew strap on the lens, that's probably one of the most important things tonight with the um, cool clear skies and the cold descending air mass just keeping that lens free of dew and ice um, all night so I've got that cranked up to uh, number 7 on my dew strap it's a Kendrick Astro dew strap, it's a um, Canadian, Canadian brand but it's got a level of 1 to 10 probably only need it on around about 5 or so but I've cranked it up to 7 one thing I do wonder about the juice straps is how they interfere with um, noise on the sensor of the camera. I have seen some funny noise patterns sometimes when cranking the juice strap right up and I just um, wonder if that's the thermal noise um, affecting the sensor. 
So that's one thing to consider with um, lens heaters. I'm not sure whether that's that's right or not, or what the actual science is behind that. But um, I have noticed some funny noise patterns uh, when I've I've cranked the, the 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 lens heater up quite a bit. So maybe there's something to that. So this shot I've got set up here is 3,200 frame shot. It's a three point move. So starting off shooting out this way on the western horizon with the the sun setting. Then it's going to pan around probably 200 degrees, over 180 degrees anyway, and tilt right up into the sky, so right up high in the sky. So I'm going to be in the middle of the time lapse, only getting a sky view. Um, hopefully that's going to track the Milky Way core, so it's going to track the Milky Way core right around, and then it's going to continue panning right around to 360 degree pan for sunrise and tilt back down and track the Milky Way back down as the Milky Way is setting. The Milky Way will be setting or coming down at least touching the horizon I would say at this time of year uh, just as the um, the dawn light starts to blow everything out. Well that's this, this evening's setup all sorted so um, I'm just packing up the gear now I'm just going to tramp back to where I'm going to crash for the night. I want to get back through those deep snow drifts um, before it gets dark. It's going to be a really cold night up here tonight. It's going to be well below zero. The gear's going to be operating at its maximum. I'll come back early. Might come back during the night just to just to check it over, do a once over just to make sure everything's all right. Um, probably when the moon, the moon rises after midnight sometimes so I may come out and there's a bit of moonlight so I can actually see where I'm going and just check things but um, other than that I might just crash where I'm going to crash for the night and uh, just leave it to sunrise so fingers crossed everything's going to work and we've, uh, we're going to get what, we, what we're after here.